it's time for our Indy Now Book Club. Welcome to Rachel Levetta Wood, public services librarian with the Indianapolis Public Library. Rachel, this topic is great because the library, we oftentimes think of just all the books and things we could read, and we'll get to that, but there are so many resources to help people have their healthiest, best year. Yeah, absolutely. So if you haven't set your New Year's resolutions or uh, you're looking to spend a little more time with them before you dive in, uh, we do have two vision board classes coming up this at the is library. So yeah. um, the first is January 6th at our um, Eagle Branch from 2 to 4, um, and the second is going to be January 20th at our Central Branch from 2 to 3.30, so you have two options there. We'll have all the supplies for you. You just got to bring your energy and ideas for the new year, and that can help set you off right, just like Caitlin was talking about earlier with visualizing your goals and putting your why. Um, we can do that in a visual form for you and give you all the supplies for that. I love that you're talking about this. I know before I got into vision board making, I would hear that and I'd be like, oh my gosh, what is that? Now I love it. My husband and I made them and we put it right there where you could see it every day. So go check out that free resource. That's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. What kind of books did you bring here? Yeah, so I um, thought of some more common resolutions and some of the books that we might have that be, might be able to support those. Uh, so the first we have How to Keep House While Drowning. This is really good if you are trying to get a clean, functional home Ooh, for the new year, which yes. is often people's ideal. Uh, this book is perfect for that. It's actually written for people who have executive functioning issues with cleaning, which means the chapters mm -hmm. are really short. It's very simple. Um, and it understands that cleaning can be overwhelming and maybe just like one additional thing you're doing on top of many. Um, so that's a really great place to start. I really recommend if your your goal is cleaning, yeah. start there. I need that immediately. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and it's nice and short, which is great. Yes. <laughs> Good for people that might have attention deficit issues like I do. So I love yes. this. Thank you very much. Um, and then the second I brought is Indiana Off the Beaten Path. This is a great one if you're, one of your goals is to explore, get to know your community more um, or know the state of Indiana a little bit more. Even if you've lived here your whole life, you're kind of guaranteed to find something new you haven't heard of before in this book. Um, and if you've already read it, we also have lots of hiking books, other things to explore Indiana. So we have lots of resources for that as well. Oh, that's a good one too. That's great. What yeah. else have you got, Rachel? Um, so also over here, we've got Drink Lightly, which is a low and no alcohol uh, cookbook. So yeah. if you're doing a dry January, you're trying to reduce your alcohol intake, we have that for you. Um, if you're looking to do other nutrition things, again, like Caitlin was talking about, we actually have a nutrition education class um, coming up January. January 9th at our Hawville branch from noon to one. Oh, that's um, nice. And then we have all sorts of cookbooks. So whether you're trying to go vegetarian, vegan, just try out some new recipes, those are also available at the that's library. Wonderful. I love that too. And I like the, just the colorful pictures and inspiration yeah. you can and get. And that book's great because it'll say like, uh, perfect for when you just got out of a hot bath or Ooh. like you're dreaming of like, it, it really sets the yeah. mood above each cocktail. Oh, so that's, if that's your vibe. Like, it's great for that. Yeah, oh, that's a fun one. Okay, what yeah. else do we have here? Um, so we have Embroidering Plants and Flowers for Beginners. Um, this is just a really good, excellent um, intro resource um, for if you're trying to start embroidery. And we have lots of craft books that if you're trying to start a new craft, they can introduce you to the craft, whether it's knitting or other things. And we also have a lot of clubs that help with that. So we've got a fiber arts club. We have crafter noons at a bunch of our different branches where you can bring your craft and work on them with that's other cute. people. Crafter so noon. it's a great one for that. <laughs> yeah. This seems like a really soothing hobby to pick up. Yeah, yeah. very meditative, mm -hmm. for sure. That's good. <laughs> and we've got one more over here. Yes, so that's How We Show Up. Um, it's a great book. I think if you're thinking of any goals related to community building, to service, to building relationships with others, deepening your relationships with your friends and family, How We Show Up is a great way to do it. It really makes it sound so simple to be building community and gives you a lot of really great ideas of, of things you can do quickly because I think that's something that can often feel overwhelming as one person yes. um, and I found How We Show Up is such a great book for that. Yeah, and it goes to show with all these resources it doesn't have to be overwhelming if you want to make a change and there are so many free resources in our community so if you'd like to follow along with some of these recommendations from Rachel and those free classes whether it's about cooking or a vision board we have their website right there on the screen and thank you for these great ideas. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And if we didn't touch on it, feel free to come by and we'll help you out with whatever your resolution is. Awesome. We've got the vision board classes right there on your screen that Rachel just mentioned. Thank you so much. No problem. It's going to be a good class. Thanks. I love yeah. it.
Coming up, many of us want something to look forward to after the holiday season wraps. And you're in luck because our friend Katie Mann from Mindy with Kids is sharing her list of the top five events that you do not want to miss in January. Stick around.